Hello, my beautiful friends. It is I, Tracy, coming at you barefaced because we're going to do a try on style with this month's boxy charm. So just crack the seal. Haven't dipped into anything yet. I do know what the things are because I saw spoilers by accident, but that's okay because I'm super excited. So I knew that we would be getting at least an eyeshadow palette in here. So that's what we're gonna be trying out. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll think about subscribing before you leave. And everybody make sure you click the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you're returning, welcome back. So if you are new and you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's basically a beauty mystery box that you can get every month and it is $21 a month. I will leave my referral code down below. I don't get any like cash benefit or anything. I get charms that can be used in the charm room and I believe you get a free item. I could be mistaken because they do change things up fairly often, but if you don't wanna use that, go ahead and go to boxycharm.com and you can sign up. And every third month they do offer a Lux box, which is $49.99. You don't have to get it, but you can get it. And it's worth like over $300 in prices. So it's really cool. I love getting my box every month. It's very, very fun. Mister's over here playing around and what? Why don't you, hey. Over here. Come here. Give me a kiss. My daughter was here this weekend and she was trying to get him to give her a kiss and he just sat there and looked at her and then be like, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. And he would and she was getting so mad. And I, it was her, he was her cat and when she left, she left him behind and she kept saying, oh, I'll take him when I have a new place. I'll take him when I get an apartment and she never did. So I'm like, he doesn't want to love you now because you abandoned him. I said, he's my cat now. So we've had, he's old. He's like 14 or 15. We've had him for a long, long time. He's, so he's an old boy. But let's see what's in this box. Yes, my sweet. This month's the theme is peace, love, and boxy. I love the little cactuses. That's so cute. So... We shall see. It always comes super nicely packaged. I've never, I don't think I've ever had anything come broken. And um, I've always, even if I get items that I'm not that biggest fan of, I will be able to use them somehow, pass them on, or, you know, something like that. Or if it's just a total dud, then I, I still feel like I get at least $21 every month. So that's what's in here. Let's take out. The first thing here is another set of Luxie brushes. These are the Summer Days three-piece brush set, and this is $28. Then we have, by Artist Couture, their Diamond Glow Powder. This is a loose highlighter, and these are $27. And did I get shade? Sh Summer Haze is the shade. And then I got the Butter London Power Up Mascara, and this is $20. I got the Star Looks Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil, and it says this is $19. Now, I have seen a few people review this, and they said that the pencil was, like, not good. So, we will have to see what we think about it. It's it's not like a black or anything. It's like a, like a, I don't even know what the color is. Let's see. It's like almost like a green kind of silvery color. Yeah, it's real hard. Like I, you would have to work. This doesn't even want to go on. There's like nothing showing up nothing at all wow that's bad <laughs> that's real bad and then the star of the show this month is a pure palette and i hope i like this one because traditionally all of the pure palettes that we've gotten i've actually decluttered because except for the soiree diaries i did like that one but the other ones i ended up you know getting rid of 
because I just didn't like them. Oh, so this is the Festival palette, and it says that it's, this is a 12-piece pressed pigment set. So if we can, it's taped shut on both ends. Now, if the stores would do this and keep people from opening everything, like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, ugh. And you go in there and the people are opening stuff and they're standing in front of you swatching a bunch of stuff and you're just like where did you see tester at so god i finally got that open oh okay and oh this is the pure get a grip endurance eyeshadow pal primer so they give you a little primer to go along with it. And if you see glitter all over my face, you are not seeing things. I wore the, what was it? Um, the spring palette from Box, from Boxy, from ColourPop. The, what is it called? I don't even remember what it's called. It turned out really pretty. I had glitter everywhere on my face though. And I even used a glitter glue. I think it's cause I have kind of hooded eyes. So it like transfers and then it was just all over. So even with the glitter glue, I had fallout. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. This is, looks like Coachella, which is this weekend in my backyard. And um, it was so sad. One of the guys that was putting up the, uh, setting up the stages for Coachella that has been there working the Coachella show for like 20 years, he fell and he died and I'm like so sad he was from San Diego just like me and yeah so kind of it's really sad but yeah it's the, it's so horrible though when Coachella comes because it's just like people everywhere the freeways backed up for miles it's I, I don't like crowds so yeah it's I mean my daughter is like in almost the backyard of Coachella this is a really, really pretty palette. The mirror folds all the way back, so that is what we're looking at. It's got a really nice mirror on it. And it says, treat every day like a festival. So let's do some swatching here. So it looks like we have one, two, three mattes and like six shimmers or metallics and then we have these two pressed glitters and this is the type of glitter that I had on my face yet or on my eyes that went onto my face yesterday so let's see let's swatch the purple the pink one of the pressed glitters and a shimmer here it's really pretty so they feel nice and smooth Oh, oh wow, I wasn't expecting that out of this glitter. I don't know why not, but wow, that is really pretty. Hmm, maybe we will have ourselves a winner, I hope. So, um, let's see, I'm trying to look at it and decide what kind of look. I'm gonna do so yeah we're gonna be focusing on the eyes today I guess there's no face products take that off do I still have... look at the glitter all over my arm now oh that's the thing even and it's so hard to get off when you have it like in your eyelashes and everywhere it's really hard to get it to come off I had it like you can see like little specks here and I mean I ha have it in my lashes and everywhere so let's see should we i guess we can try some of the luxie brushes out There's scissors now i show oh, you okay. we got that finally cut open it's so cute because the packaging matches the ferris wheel i was going to say the cartwheel the ferris wheel and these are the brushes so we have a, a large shader then we have uh what is this one called a small shader and then this i think is it says it's a contour small contour but this is very small so i i think it would be good for blush or Maybe it would be okay for contour or brushing glitter off your face from the day before, maybe. <laughs> so.
So nice brushes. I This one I saw, um, I think they were packing the glitter on with this and it worked really well with the shape of their eye. I don't remember who I was watching. And then this one they were using to smoke out underneath, but to me that's a little bit big, more intense than I would probably want under my eyes. Are you inspecting the palette for uh, quality control here? What do you think? Is it Mr. Approved? Well, you gotta come up here so people can see you, my dear. Um, do I wanna use this? I guess we might as well try their eyeshadow primer. Yeah, I kind of took too much there. It's kind of weird outside where I'm in California today because it was like kind of cloudy and now it seems like the sun's coming out a little bit more. We are going to start out with the shade called Epic here. It's almost just like a skin tone maybe for me. pigment actually more than I was expecting. I actually got messy because I didn't think it was going to show up. It's definitely showing up though. It's a nice color, nice transition shade. So um, yeah, I even have glitter I can see now in my eyebrows and I had a glitter glue on. That's crazy. I don't know how to not have you know glitter all out all over and the palette is so pretty I love it the peachy you know peachy tones and the pressed glitter and the super shock shadows are in this new palette from them it's almost like a bright orange and it doesn't I mean it looks like skin tone here doesn't it I mean it doesn't look like it's gonna turn out to be this orange kind of color which is good because then it's actually a more usable color for me but I think I got too much on my right eye oh well we're just gonna roll with it we're not gonna worry about it so do any of you guys have any plans of going to Coachella? Be coming my way. You can stop off and see me. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure if I should. Hmm. I'm like, I, I want to go for the brown, but then I'm like, the pink's kind of pretty. Maybe we should try. Hmm, let's see here. What kind of brush? Because that's a pigment. And I don't really want to, well, you know what, I'm just going to try this wet and wild brush. This pink is called Wild Child. Wow, is it bright. That's pretty. So far, these shades are working out better than the past few pure palettes that I've had. The last one we got was, I think, that Masquerade palette. I actually depotted the blushes and the highlighters and got rid of the eyeshadows that were in that one. And then um, there was the Pure and Boxy Charm one that had the pop of blue. And I had uh, gotten rid of that to a neighbor. And it seemed like there was one more, but I don't remember which one it was. And then we had the Soiree Diaries, but I still have that one. That one's a nice neutral palette. This pink is really pretty. So that is where we are at. Do I have more? Hmm. I think we need a little bit more pink on this side. I hate when I'm doing my eyes back and forth and I feel like they don't look even and then it drives me insane. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere today so no one's really going to see me except for you guys. <laughs> I know you guys want to see the glitter so maybe we should try this pink glitter. It's called Firework. 
I don't know if I'm sure we'll have fallout all over the place. Wow. That's so pretty. I think I'm only gonna do like half of my lid and then I'll I'm gonna put the dark brown in the corner there. It really does look like fireworks because it's got all sorts of color in it. It's really, really pretty. I think I have a little bit more on the left. Wow. It's really pretty. Real sparkly. <laughs> now I'm just going to take this um, brown here called Hidden Desert. Just gonna kind of put that in the corner there. So, did you guys get Boxy Charm or do you get Boxy Charm? Like, did you get? I don't know how many variations there are going around because I saw somebody say that theirs was variation like number 14, and I've only seen like a few different ones. And if you're curious, mine has a little two in the bottom um, right hand corner with, with the little heart. So not sure what that means, but somebody had said theirs was like 14. So I've only seen like two, maybe three variations, I want to say, but I could be wrong. But yeah, somebody said four, that theirs was 14. I almost want to like put... Maybe I'll just try to pick up. I feel like near my lashes, I don't have it as coated. I feel like I have bare lid space. I should have probably put this brown all over and then put this on. Live and learn, right? So, it's really pretty. Very, very nice. Let's take some of this brown and run that under the lash line oh actually you know what i won't wear foundation that's okay because we're mostly just focusing on eyes today and like i said i don't think i'm going anywhere so i got a lot of glitter on my face i put an order in um a few days ago for juno and co have you guys ever used anything from Juno & Co? I ordered the little um, makeup sticks from Iconic Beauty. Got a three pack of them for, um, what was it, $18 and then I had a coupon code. And I, I have a coupon code that's like $5 off of a $10 purchase if any of you guys want to order. So I'll try to remember to link that in the description box and um, the order came super quick wow that is like intense I feel like I need like full beat makeup full coverage foundation false lashes this is really um, kind of uh, <laughs> looks like somebody punched me in my eye see if we can get some of that glitter off But yeah, I'll put the code down in the description box for Juno & Co. They're the ones that had those fuzzy beauty blenders. I didn't order a beauty blender. I did order uh, the set of the little sticks. I'll show them to you in just a second. And wow. Okay, like I just have to stop because I'm gonna, I just have glitter all over my face. So let's see if I can dig out these little sticks. You got a blur stick, a cooling stick, and a glow stick. Where's the other one? So you get these three little sticks. Here's the glow stick. I was swatching them on my arms last night and I'm like, it's not showing up. There's nothing here. They had a cover over them that you had to twist it up to get the top off because I was like I first I did the blur stick and I'm like okay and then I I did the holographic stick and I'm like 
there's nothing there. And then I realized, oh, duh. So there's the glow. It's almost like that glass type skin that everybody's talking about. And then the cool stick. It just feels really, like as soon as it touches your hand, it like turns into water. That's what it feels like. This kind of has a, like a cucumbery kind of a scent. And then the blur stick. And you, these are like a dupe for the milk makeup sticks and the blur stick alone from milk is $36 these are a little tiny bit smaller these come in at 0.88 ounces and the milk sticks are a full ounce but you're not you know you're not missing much so if you are interested in you know a cheaper alternative you get these three for $18 and then um, I ordered oh, this um, Juno & Co. This is their ES16. It's a highlighter brush. It's really nice. I already washed it. So it would be ready to use. So let's see what we're doing now. We'll try out the mascara. Okay, let's see. Power Up Mascara. It's got a silicone, a little bit of a curved brush. The brush is very spiky. Like I can feel it, the little spikes as I'm coating my lashes. Ooh, I was just gonna say it would hurt if you poked yourself in the eye and it touched my eye. I'm kind of scared to put this To my bottom lashes. Brush is a little bit too big, I think, for the bottom. Because I'm worried I'm going to stab myself in the eye. Okay. Seems okay. I mean, I like the last Butter London that I had gotten. And so that's two coats of the um, mascara along with the whole ton of glitter all over my face. So let's see, what else do we have left to test? We did that, we, did, we tried out the primer. What else did we have? Oh, we're gonna try the highlighter. So let me go do some face makeup and I'll be right back and we'll Finish up. Alrighty, I am back with the rest of my face done. No foundation, you know. I decided I am gonna go to Coachella. I'm already ready, have glittery cat ears. Got glitter all over my face. It starts tomorrow, it's right here. Might as well go, right? No, I'm not going to Coachella. So we're gonna try out the Artist Couture um, highlighter. We did, we got one of these in another box a while ago. I still have it. It's really, really pretty. I dumped some out into the cap here and yeah, it took out a lot. So let's try, I'm going to try the new Juno and co, uh, brush that I got. I, I used the, um, this for my blush. It was worked really nice cause it's like the perfect size for your cheeks. So I did use that. Let's see how this gets on. I just feel like I have glitter all over anyways. Wow. That is nice. You guys know I love a good highlighter. This brush is nice. It places it just in the exact right spot. And if you don't like it as popping, you can Tone it down a wee bit. So, ooh, I love it. I don't love the glitter all over my face though. Maybe if I use a glitter glue though, it won't, you know. And I, I wasn't sure like if you could wet like a pressed glitter, it might make a really big mess. 
so I didn't want to spray it. I almost did, but then I got to thinking, you know, it's got the medium already mixed in that's holding the glitters together, so I wasn't sure how that would end up. I feel like I don't have enough pop on this cheek. If you guys ever hear like cars or weird noises and see like lights on my background ceiling and stuff, it's the cars on the road right in front of me. So yeah, that is really, really pretty. This brush, I really like this. This was like $5, I think. And then you use your discount code. I really like that iconic eyebrow uh, that we got in BoxyCharm or BoxyLux. I'm not sure if everybody got that or not. But I really like that. I like it so much that I I knew I wouldn't pay $40 for it, that's for sure. But I was able to find them on eBay. And when I was on there, I was just looking around and I put that in and started, you know, searching. And of course, like a whole bunch of them came up. And I think about $11 was the best price that I saw on that. And for a $40 item I didn't think that was bad so I was looking you know just poking around seeing what you know I could find I just used that on my inner corners and I was able to find it for like I said $11 with free shipping and then um, a coupon popped up and it said $5 off any purchase and I was like really like is this is this really gonna work or is it like not gonna work so I went and I went to the checkout and put the coupon code in and it took $5 off my order. So I got a backup for six bucks shipped. So I thought that was a good deal. Uh, let's see. I was gonna try this out. Uh, maybe I'll use their little doodad. Wow, that's like tiny. It's kind of fat, but tiny. Look crazy all bare browed with all oh, my face done up. I like that highlighter though. Mm -hmm. So this is the brow product. There's a light and a dark. I can see when I put it in my brows, I really couldn't tell much difference between the two. So I don't think it really much matters which side you dip into, but I just like to take a brow brush and kind of etch out where I want my brow to, where I would like it to be, <laughs> as opposed to where it is. I have a scar through this eyebrow, so I always have to build it up right where the arch is, of course. I don't, I wish that I had nice arched eyebrows like I see some girls. I see some of their, some eyebrows and I'm just like, man, I wish I had those brows. But, gotta work with what I've got. I thought about doing the microblading or the tattooing, but ah, that kind of scares me because I'm like, if you get someone that doesn't know what they're doing or, I mean, you could come out looking really bad. And then if you have it microbladed or tattooed, like, and they look horrible, what do you do? <laughs> you can't do anything except hope that like they fade I guess I, I don't really know so that's all I really do with my brow can I help you and then this one my hairs don't grow at the front so I don't even have like a quote unquote good brow because they both have something wrong but I found when I first started to use this that it seemed kind of hard to use. But after the first few times, I was like, oh, this is, you know, and you don't really need an eyebrow gel because it kind of holds your brows together. And I heard a few people that don't have too many brows say that it was great on just the bare skin. So I think it, you know, it's a pretty good product that can work for you if you have brows or if you don't have brows and you have to make your own and it lasts all day long I haven't you know noticed it wearing off or I mean I go to take my makeup off usually about five or six 
because I like to get my skincare in before it gets late. I want my oil to soak in as long as it can before I put like a nighttime moisturizer on. So I have a speck of glitter right between my eyes. <sighs> I, let's face it, I have specks of glitter everywhere on my eyes and on my face. So, let's see. The only other thing I would do now is I take my little, my little fan thingy and then I just pop some highlight under my brows. Love this little brush like perfect and you can get highlight in the corners there perfectly so there we go friends that is my have to remember what month it is April 2019 boxy charm so let's see in review the pure festival palette I thought it was really nice so far so good we'll see you know I'll keep using it and then I'll update you next month it says from boho inspired metallics to eye-catching glitters each cruelty free shade is infused with skin loving ingredients and that was $36 then we had the Luxie three-piece brush set which I used two of the brushes I this one for the glitters which I thought that worked really good did I no I didn't use this I didn't use the large shader yet and then the contouring blush br the brush I used for the blush and it worked really nicely I'm always happy to see Luxie brushes so that was let's see the summer days and it's d-a-z-e three-piece brush set was curated for the perfect festival look that will last all day it says use the 512 contouring brush to sculpt and define your cheekbones while the 245 small shader brush to pat on your base shadow and glitter so i did use that for the right purpose and then it says grab the 209 large shader brush to pat and on and blend any eye look then we have the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and that was $27, and it says it's natural, vegan, and cruelty-free loose powder highlighter can be used on the eyes, lips, and face, body, and body. Versatile formula, highly pigmented and suitable for all skin tones, creates a subtle, luminous finish or layer for an unreal glow. Let's see if we put some just in the middle of our lips. Ooh. I just have on the um, lipstick I got in the Boxy Lux last month from Becca. It's been a favorite. So yeah, the, the, that was the highlighter. So it looks good. Just pat it on the lips. Then we had the Butter London Power Up Mascara. It says that you will get length, definition, and curl retention with their Power Up Mascaras all day wear. It says with the first swipe, a unique oil bit oil-free blend of nourishing waxes instantly produces noticeably longer and more defined lashes a second swipe adds thickness and volume without clumping the soft and creamy formula is infused with hydrating jojoba extract and water resistant polymers to reduce smudging and flaking for a full eight hour day so and my lashes do look pretty good i mean even though the wand was a little spiky. And it doesn't say it's waterproof, it says it's water resistant. So I wouldn't like dunk your face in like a pool or anything if you want your mascara to stay on, but it does say eight hour wear. So you know, I will check that out and get back to you guys ne next month with my review. And then we had the Star Looks Ultra Gem Long Wear Eye Pencil. It probably is really long wearing since you can't see it and you can't tell when it went on and when it came off. So it says that it's intensely pigmented formula. Yeah, it delivers a beautiful color that lasts all day. The easy to extend and retract pen makes application and continuous use seamlessly easy without ever having to use a sharpener. Oh, that's nice. It got squashed in the lid. There's no, I mean, look at how hard I had to press to get that. It's a really nice color, but 
if it doesn't go on, like, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't go on. There, the, I no. So this is just gonna go in the trash. So let's see what the total amount. So this month's box was worth a hundred and thirty dollars, and I paid twenty one. So really good value. Even if you uh, subtract the nineteen dollars for the crappy eyeliner. That's still a box value of $111, and I paid $21, so I'm still $90 up on product that I didn't have to pay for. So I love getting the box every month. It's like super exciting. I love opening it, playing with the stuff. I love you know testing it out through the month and then letting you go, letting you guys know next month what I thought of all of the products. So that is what we're going to do this month again, and I will check back with you guys, let you know how all the products work. If I can find a way to make that eyeliner work, you know I will. Like, there's no color. Well, there might be, like, like a hint, but not enough that I would say I'm going to use that for the day. No. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like seeing these videos every month, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And... I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yes what did you want to say goodbye say goodbye say signing out for me and mister so anyway if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up I hope you guys are all having a great day or night wherever you are and if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.